Okay, so here's a quick demonstration of using uh, an FT3D, a Yaesu FT3D, a DRA30 sound card, and Vara FM. And just a quick explanation. Um, I tried using this with a cheap Bofang and a USB interface, $7 USB sound card, and I was getting 11,000 bits per second without a problem. Um, I thought that by using an FT3D that uh, it would be a lot faster. Uh, it is not, because it, it, this HT does not have a direct um, connection to the sound card, meaning I can't get 9600 baud out of it. Um, so there really wasn't any difference. But um, this was in the manual. Uh, you can see that uh, it required a cap capacitor on the microphone. Um, audio and a uh, 2K resistor on the um, uh, push to talk line. This is what it looked like after I created the DB9. The adapter, which is like $15 or $17, it's completely outrageous for that. Um, long story short, I tried using a four pole. 3.5 millimeter and wiring it directly to the DRA30, but I couldn't find the correct pin out. Just could not get it to work. And here's the DRA30 that I built. Took about an hour and 10 minutes. Built many of those. Here's what it looks like put together. And there's the HT. So I'm going to go ahead and initiate a file transfer or check for mail. Let's see what kind of throughput we get. So we're at level 9, which is 9,000 bits per second. Accepted. Now we're going to try 11,000. Accepted. Now it's going to try 12,000. So 12,750 is level 11, seems to take that, or excuse me, 12,750 at uh, uh, level 11. Now it should start throttling down. It did. So there's a 100K file that just came through in a minute five. I mean, that's, uh, that's pretty amazing. 120K. And there's all the capillary, capillary elements. Now, one thing that I've noticed is that it's not exactly uh, consistent uh, using this method. The Bofang, um, using a cheap sound card, it was solid at 11,000 bits per second. The FT3D is, um, is it's probably asking too much of it using a DRA30. Here's the setup for the sound card. You can do auto-tune. We'll send a series of, uh, of packets. And there you go. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's good signal strength. Now, I did have to tweak the DRA30. It'll tell you whether to move the pods to the left or to the right to, to adjust the audio. So there's really not much of a setup there. You could do a quick ping. Looks good there. The VARA setup. Wasn't much to this. Uh, I could set it to wide 
although it'll it'll waste another 10 seconds trying to figure out that um, that I don't have a 9600 baud HT. So FM wide is not required. Push to talk is using, I've got two monitors here, come on. I just picked the soundboard and that's really all there is to it.